Hey guys, it's Stephen and Phil here, back on 40.com. Uh, we're doing another anniversary kit today. The historic AC Milan are back with our 120th anniversary commemorative shirt. We're going to review that, take a closer look, and see if it stands up to the standards that AC Milan uh, embody, basically. Uh, don't forget, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We do all kinds of shirt reviews. Yesterday, we reviewed a FIFA shirt, and we've got Euro 2020 kits, and we'll be doing Premier League leagues as soon as they start hitting in the new year as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button but today we're turning the spotlight back over to Syria and one of Italy's most uh, iconic clubs um, and AC Milan's 120 20th anniversary shirt from Puma Phil um, we, we feel like we've seen this before because it's very similar mm. isn't it to their current home kit what do you make of this though in general yeah that's that's exactly right it's very similar to the home kit and I think probably for that reason it's not as exciting as it would have been uh, say last year or, or you know maybe next year if they'd have yeah. got something with thicker straps for the home um, and there's also one or two things which don't quite hit the mark, but actually this is, broadly speaking, I, I quite like it. I do think okay. it's quite nice. Um, but yeah, it's not. I feel, it's I not a classic. I think we have. I think I'm frustrated because I feel like what this could have been would be so much mm. better. Um, I'll start. Sure, you're wearing into shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe the bias is seep, <laughs> seeping in. I got this because it's nice. Um, I definitely <laughs> got, it. and also because Lautaro Martinez, um, he's my new. Oh, really? Really. Really good. But no, in general though, I I loved AC Milan's home shirt. Yes, nice. Yeah, nice. Didn't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought it was beautiful. Mm. The thing that really bugs me this is how it's become a billboard, and I know. I know all that oh, bit yeah. and shirts, <laughs> but it's a it's a hundred and twenty anniversary shirt, and the Emirates I could just about accept, but the fly better thing fly below better. it, it just yeah. it totally and giving this a plain shirt as well for mm. me, it totally takes away the authenticity of it. It's just a big advert plastered across mm. it, um, and given the fact that that's not on the home shirt, and they've gone one further to mm. make it look even more like an advert. I don't know. It just mm. it really annoys me. Mm. Something about it just annoys me. Yep. Like I think uh, anniversary shirt should be as simple uh, and it is. Uh, none of that clutter basically mm. yeah, as possible I think they've yep. gone for that have you yeah. said that you know the gold All right. yeah well I mean the fly better thing is quite interesting because I, the only time I think I've seen it Arsenal in pre-season uh, one or two of the, their games they wore their home shirts with the fly better sponsor and it was that kind of thing where they basically as you say it was very much an advert and we yeah. see it sometimes sponsors, you know, even like, I don't know, Liverpool this year, they've they've worn a variation of their standard charts. That's what sponsor. you put down to pre-season nonsense though, don't and you? And it, it's like... that kind of thing, yeah, it's a pre-season or maybe a one-off thing for a charity. Yeah, yeah. To, to essentially just mix it up for this. I mean, from what I gather, I don't believe, they might be wearing it on pitch. I don't think they're wearing it on pitch and it kind of feels like that. They've sort of snuck this, this sponsor in because usually in the match kit you don't tend to... Uh, C clubs changing their sponsors, so I, I can agree with you there. It feels a little bit like it's a, a bit cheap to me. I wish they'd just um, gone with what they did with Cities as well. Cities haven't got a sponsor on the front, yeah. And it is Puma as well, so yeah. I can only presume but the brand is come first here, really, hasn't it? Indeed, and it is worth saying, like you, you said, though, it, it is in gold. At least they've done that, you know, it would yeah. have been worse, I think. What do you think of the gold? I'm, I'm on the shelf about it. I think it looks okay, yeah. No, I think I think I like it again. It, it It's probably nice the to white separate pops it. more on the home shirt, I think, yeah. Gold, I think the white's yeah. probably nicer, but in the same time, I do like that it's different. Uh, but then I think still the stripes, it does it does does feel a little bit like a sort of you know, a bit like an afterthought, almost like they had the home yeah. kit. But having said that, I, I would I mean I should like to uh, point out some of the good things and that's certainly the details. Um they're the highlight for me. Very small, subtle details, but I do like them. I just think, you know What does it, it say on the shirt now? Uh, uh, it's some sort of embossed slogan it's in um, English interestingly yeah which well so the founder of Ace Milan was was English uh, his name is Howard something I can't think of his surname yeah so they've got they've got an interesting heritage and that and I can't even think of the quote it will be on, on the shirt there it says we are going to be um, a team of devils our colours will be red like flames and black like our opponents fear wow what a quote yeah it, it's a very old Hol school Hilbert quote Hilbert Kilpin oh Hilbert not, not, good old not, Hilbert yeah. Herbert Herbert Kilpin. Yeah, and I like that. It's it's a bit quaint and a bit old school, but I, I I like that little detail. The little the little gold devil on the back, even yeah. the little one hundred and twenty under the crest. Very simple. Yeah, I do like those details. To be um, fair. I think I think it's nice. Obviously, um, just wish, just wish you didn't have that. It, on the front yeah, I was gonna say with a, with a better sponsor and with something a little bit different to the home shirt. Yeah, it, it, it would, it would just go, home it would shirt, go isn't to it? Level. Is it just the home shirt? I think it is, isn't it? Pretty much. I haven't done a, a like for like comparison. It looks possibly slightly thicker. Um, uh, I'm just trying to see. I mean the um, the the crest thicker. sits on the red. It's inverted. So basically, on the home shirt, the the main the crest mm. sits on a red stripe. On here, it sits on a black stripe. Okay. So yeah. that, I mean, I think it's just basically inverted or. Yeah, I think it is inverted, isn't it? 
Yeah, I was going to say, if it's not, it's very, very similar. similar I think yeah. that's a good shout. Yeah. Um, which is a, a, it does look more black than red, actually, to be fair. Yeah, so I think it, they have done that. You know, it's quite funny. Now you've brought up that picture of the home shirt, it, it, to me, it all it, it looks a bit different. And that, also, the cuffs are different as well, actually, to be fair. So they've got a black cuff yeah, and the other one is yeah. just there. Um, so there's a little few tweaks so maybe, there. Maybe I've short changed it a little bit there. Best care, then. What we Best care. <laughs> uh, Go on, give it a score, then. Yeah, no, I think it's definitely... I do like the kit. I think, I, do. I think I'm just frustrated by the, the flight. Um, but there are no, there are things. I think th- these are the things which, and it's really hard to separate the amount of kits we look at. Obviously, um, you know what what separates a, a kit in the '80s from the '90s. But I do think it's it's held back from being a kit in the '90s for for reasons you know that, that we've mentioned in the video. Yeah, like, like a, maybe a lack of originality is slightly. I think lack of originality, and I think I think obviously the sponsor feels like a because it's an anniversary kit. That's why. Yeah, because it's an anniversary yeah. kit, you expect a little bit more, but. And as good as the details are, they're not they're not as amazing as, as other kits. But no, it's, it's still good. I, I think I'd probably give it an eighty six. You know? I'd agree with that. It is a good choice. Um, still. I mean, yeah. if you hadn't seen the home world, we'd still like this. Yeah, and I think definitely, yeah, in another year uh, with one or two other things, it would be one of my, my favorite kits this year. So it's good. So there we have it. Uh, an eighty six for AC Milan's uh, anniversary shirt, one hundred twentieth anniversary. It's available now, I think, isn't it? Mm. Don't forget to head over to footy dot com as well, where we compare the prices of loads of kits for you. you can get it for the cheapest possible price around on the internet. For now, guys, let us know if you think that's a fair score in the comments below. As ever, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. I've been Stephen the Spell, and we'll see you very, very soon for another video.